the Connecticut Both Connecticut teams are on the field, and we're just about ready to open things up. Excellent kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Rice's offense really centered around this quarterback, and as he goes, the team seems to go, Kirk. Brad, over the weeks, I've been watching him on film, and one thing I've seen is his ability to make good decisions. I mean, time after time, he just avoids the mistakes. And when you can do that as a quarterback, and as a leader of an offense, you're going to move the football down the field. And he's going to be sacked for a loss. It looks like the defensive end that got in there. Yes, it was. He did a wonderful job of fighting off blocks to bring the quarterback down. From their own 19-yard line, it's second down. Goes quickly, and it's almost intercepted. You never know what will happen when the ball ricochets like that. Good effort by the defender. Third down. The sack makes this a fourth and very long. The defense has everybody on the line. I think they're going to come after this one. Like a couple of boxers in round one. These two teams are feeling each other out. Well, they had their opportunities here to make some plays to try to quiet this crowd, but they weren't able to do it. If things keep going this way, this stadium is going to get even louder. He steps out around the 41 yard line. He made a good read here to find his teammates. That's sound decision making. Second and five. Ball on the 41 yard line. Here we go, here we go. Kill, kill, kill. Go. Fakes to the back. Got it. Tight ends got the first. Tight ends can really be a wild card in any offense. Sometimes the defense are a little bit confused on how to handle it. Passes are going to help the quarterback's confidence. That'll make it second and four. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. Hey, check Mike 57. Mike 57. 10, 2. Easy, easy. And they make the stop at the 13-yard line. He is such a reliable target. You throw it anywhere near him, and this guy's going to get his hands on it and make a catch. Quick strike, and it's caught for the touchdown. play 47 yard drive and they come away with seven points an amazing drive for this offense outstanding execution if you're the defense you've got to do something to try to change things up to get this quarterback out of sight. he just drills this one and they can forget about returning this one the huskies are right where they want to be early in this one partner well this is what their coach talked about getting off to a great start the defense did their job and it's nice to see the offense move the ball down the field and also get some points on the board. You never like to have to play from behind, but a deficit this manageable shouldn't be in the front of their minds. They just need to go out there and play. He's to the 40, and he hits him hard at the 43. He really showed some good speed there. I'll tell you, no question. When you talk about being able to turn on the Jets and leave everybody in the dust, you have to mention this young man. He's got skills, but his speed is what the pro scouts are drooling about. Tackle made right around the 44-yard line. 
First down. Check 26. He's on the run. Gains his way to the 16-yard line. The defense doesn't seem to have an answer right now. They might need to change up some of their schemes. He's into the open field. The five. Touchdown, Rice. Spectacular run by the quarterback. That is such a weapon for your offense when you have a quarterback who can do things like that. The coach probably loves drawing up plays for this guy. The extra point to tie this game up. He splits the uprights with the extra point. It was a five-play, 74-yard drive, and it results in a touchdown. And the big plays that they had running the football were the keys to that drive. He sends this one deep. Rice is lining up to kick this one off. Let's find out if the defense has made any adjustments after giving up a touchdown on that last drive. Well, it's one thing to have speed. It's another thing to have an idea of what you're doing and how to attack the defense. And right now, these wide receivers clearly have done an outstanding job of being able to make their reads and getting out of their breaks, and the quarterback put the ball right on the mark. From their own 25-yard line, second down. Just throws this one away. The quarterback in the gun, empty backfield, five Man, wide two. receivers in the formation. And he's taken down at the 37. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 37. Scramble. He's tackled at about the 41. Gain of four on the play. That'll make it second and seven. We've got a first and ten. Ball on the 49. Kill, kill, kill! Gunner three! Motion, quickly, and that was almost picked. Number eight was the intended receiver on the play. That makes it second and ten. He's at the 30, fires it out, and he's finally knocked out of bounds at the 25-yard line. And this is the eighth play of the drive. Played by the defense, but sometimes a good throw and catch just beats you. That'll bring up second and three. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. The 10. What a play to set him up with a first and goal. Tenth play of the drive. Brought down around the two-yard line. Call it a gain of three yards. Brings up second and goal. 
It's second and goal. Ball on the two. They're trying to stop the run here with a goal line defense. Red, two. Hey, kill, kill, kill. Loss of two by the halfback. Call it a loss of two. That makes it third and goal. And this is the 12th play of the drive. Check Mike 57. Mike Black five. Pitch out. And he's tackled at about the five yard line. We played one quarter. We get a tie game at 7 7. And we welcome you back to the action here. Just about set to start the second quarter. Connecticut could take the lead with this field goal. Kicks away, and the field goal is good. And you got to think they're pretty happy with holding them to a field goal right there. They line up to kick this one away. And he got all of this one. Great kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Gains his way to the 36-yard line. That makes it first and ten. Three down, three down. Hey, check mark 33. Check mark 33. <laughs> And down he goes at the 49-yard line. Game number 10 on the way. First down. Go! There's a strike complete. Tackle around the 37-yard line. Number 29 makes the tackle. The 37-yard line. First down. He's at the 20. They'll bring him down at the 15-yard line. That's a game of two and two. That makes it first and ten. Three down, three down. The 10. Big play, and it's first and goal. That's a game of 11 on the play. That makes it first and goal. Check by 33. Check by 33. Check, check, check. Quick throw, almost intercepted. Just inside the five. It's second down. And they make the stop right around the four-yard line. He's on the run, and he can't get away from the pressure. A great defensive end in college football just pins his ears back and has, again, that extra instinct to know when to jump the snap count, when to take a chance on third down. And it seems like they almost save their extra pass rush and extra incentive as far as their, their energy when it really matters on a third down, when they feel like they can beat that offensive tackle and get off the line of scrimmage a little bit quicker. And that's something that I think we've seen him do throughout this game. Rice can tie it up here with this kick. He gets it up, and it's good. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. Nice kick, plenty of distance. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. You always want to go in the locker room with momentum, so as we get closer to halftime, I think we'll see more and more attempts to create big plays. Motion, motion. Motion, motion, motion. And it's caught. Tackle made at about the 37 yard line. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 37 yard line. Every 
play to be successful. They got five yards on the play, and that's always a good game. They bring their quarterback down. Loss of two on the play. Third down. Third and eight. Ball on the 40-yard line. Black 57. You must, you must be getting tired of seeing me. Black five. Black five. He's going to try and scramble. That's a great tackle at the 45. The quarterback trying to make a play. Well, he did a nice job of getting some yards there on the scramble, but he needs to learn to slide to avoid those big hits. He gets it away, and this is a really nice punt. This punt goes over the goal line, and this will be a touchback. This is the point in the game where you don't want to make any mistakes that give the other guys a reason to feel more confident going into halftime. Makes it to the 22-yard line. That makes it second and eight. He gets out to about the 22-yard line. Got it. Complete. He's out of bounds. That's a game of 16. First down. Scrambling around. Runs with it, and he's got room. And he's taken down at the 45-yard line. Rice is going to use their first time out of the half here. About two minutes before halftime. Seven-yard pickup on the scramble by the quarterback. He gets out to about the 45-yard line. Tackles him hard at the 46. When you get in these third down situations, a confident offense expects to get the yardage they need on the ground. It's a good job by the defense to shut that down. Gets it away. Wait a minute, he's going to throw. Tackle made at the 48. Throws it in a hurry. So the ball spotted right around midfield as they continue to move the ball on this drive. Man left, man left. Four down, four down. Hey, watch 28. Red, two. Easy, easy. Blue 20. Go. Pulls it in, and that's a first down. He's tackled at the 38-yard line. It's the ninth play of the drive. The Owls use their second timeout. Now he tries to buy some time. He's taken down around the 34-yard line. That makes it second and six. He lets it fly. Finds his receiver who's all alone. And he hits the PAT. A nice 10 play, 80 yard drive, and they get it in for seven. Brad, I thought that was a textbook drive. I thought they did a really good job of showing balance, mixing the play calling with a run in the pass. Just an overall well executed touchdown drive. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. 
momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Zips it to the tight end. Locked down at the 31. The Huskies call a timeout. That's their second of the half. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. He sails it long. Incomplete. It's knocked down by the defense. Throws a strike over the middle. And he's tackled at the 43-yard line. They'll spread the field with five wide. He's looking for six. Got his man. Touchdown. White out here truly knows what he has to do to contribute to make his team successful. Here comes the kicker to try to tie this game up. He makes the PAT. Connecticut is ready to kick it away. He really got a hold of that kick. And they can forget about returning this one. The offense now will take the field, and they hope to have the same success they had on their last drive. As you can bet this defense made some adjustments on the sideline, though. I don't know if they can stop the passing attack, but they need to at least be able to slow it down. Man, did he play that perfectly or what? As a linebacker, you have to be able to read the offense and make a quick diagnosis, which is exactly what he did on that play. So at the end of the half, this game is all tied up at 17.
Great first half. Hopefully the second half's as good. Excellent kick. A lot of times you'll see teams start to clench up a little bit when games stay close well into the second half. You need to stay loose, keep doing what you've been doing all week in practice, and execute when it's time. It's to about the 27-yard line. It's second down and eight. Ball on their own 27. Well, the defense has to be very frustrated there. They did everything. They got to the quarterback. In fact, it looked like they had a chance to bring him down for the sack. And somehow, he's able to throw the ball away. Empty backfield. Quarterback in the gun. Five wide receivers. Goes right. Picked off. Inside the 30. And down he goes at the 30. He seemed a little hesitant on that throw. And that left the defender time to break on the ball and pick it off. From the 30-yard line, first down. Three down, three down. Mike check, 33, 33. And they'll get him in the backfield. So he holds on to it and gets a good five yards. And they make the stop around the 20-yard line. Number 16 makes the tackle at the 20-yard line. That makes it first and 10. He tackles him for a loss. That makes it second and 14. We've got a second and 14. Ball in the 23. Now he's scrambling. He gets sacked on the play. He's scrambling, and he's going to run this one in. Touchdown. He got the defense on their heels, and he just waltzed in for the touchdown. Brad, great job of improvising by the quarterback there, showing pass, breaking down the defense, and then going in for the touchdown. He splits the uprights with the extra point. A seven-play, 30-yard drive, and it's good for seven points. So our score, 24-17. Rice to kick. Sends it sailing downfield. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Rice's coaches just got to be happy. I'd love to coach a kid like this. Oh, I think these coaches love to coach a guy like this. And another great performance by him individually and for this offense. Well, let's see if he can shake off that pick that he tossed last time out. So much in football is about how you respond to adversity. Moving forward after a turnover is a perfect example of that. Good job here by the defense. If you let this quarterback set and throw, he'll kill you all game. But they got excellent pressure on that play. Fires out to his wideout. A 
couple of yards there. It's a nice catch by the junior wide receiver, but an even better effort by the defense to keep him from going anywhere. It's third and eight. Ball on the 27-yard line. to retain possession after that fumble. The coach can't be happy with the way the running back is carrying the football. What was that? Double tight, double tight. Four down, four down. Hey, check Mike 57, Mike 57. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Delay. Makes the catch and look out. For the 10. They bring him down, but not before he gets a glimpse of the end zone. First down, and they've got their eyes on that goal line. Three-yard gain by the running back. When a defense has help and run support from their corners, it takes a lot of pressure off the linebackers and safeties. Great play. They're crowding the line. Here we go, here we go, here we go. He's got the corner. Touchdown, Connecticut. This kid is a really reliable weapon. You definitely want the football in his hands near the end zone, and he showed you why right there. The extra point to tie this game up. And he adds the extra point. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. He just drills this one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Wow, close game here. Up and down the field with both these offenses matching what the other's done. Well, it's fun to watch each offense get an opportunity to go out and make plays. And you're right, you almost feel as, as if one offense feels challenged and has to be able to bounce back, and they've done that. The offense was able to punch it in the end zone on that last drive. They'll come back out looking for more of the same. You know, when this defense went over to the sideline based on the way they've been playing so far, this defense coordinator has got to live it. He's got to get in their face. He's got to challenge them. He's got to get their emotions going. Because when you play defense, it's not just about X's and O's. It's about attitude and playing with a lot of confidence. Hey, check Mike 33. Check Mike 33. Check, check. Disco Raver. Disco Raver. And he is drilled at the 32-yard line. He's to the 40. Tackle made at about the 45. First down. to the tight end. Brought down around the 49-yard line. That's a nice six-yard gain. Well, he really didn't have to do too much there to give himself a little room to make the catch. He's at the 40. He's at the 30. Gains his way to the 26-yard line. That makes it first and 10. 
And he tackles him hard at the 31. It's got to be frustrating for this offense to go backwards, but they've just got to stick with it and know that big plays will eventually happen. From the 31-yard line, second down. it out to about the 31 yard line. Steps up in the pocket and sacked. So with one quarter remaining, good game, 24-24. All tied up, and we head to the all-important fourth quarter. It's up, and it's good! The rice, rice ready to kick this one off. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Well, here we are early in the fourth quarter in a very, very tight ball game, and every possession is going to count from here on out. He's into the open field. He's to the 40, and he's tackled around the 40-yard line. First down, 10 to go. Ball on their own 40. Nice run, and he's brought down. Six yard line. It's first down. Red two, three, fifteen. Go. And he's taken down around the twenty six yard line. That'll make it seven inches. I got him. I got him. Fifty seven to Mike. Mark fifty seven. Tailback. He's taken down right around the 20. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 20 yard line. Nice run up the middle. most of the drive because of the versatility of the offense. The score now, 31-27. Well, this has been a fun game to watch, going back and forth and back and forth. It's almost like watching a tennis match here. Whoever has the ball last, my guess, will be the team that wins it. Things aren't tied, but they might as well be. It's this drive that could really dictate the tone for the last quarter. Handoff to the right, and he carries the ball for a nice game. Second 
Now he tries to buy some time. Just under three to go in regulation. He's going to try and scramble. They bring the quarterback down. I think these guys have come to play today. Well, just a great series for the defense to force the three and out and get that kind of pressure on the quarterback. Oh, excellent punt. He's taken down at the 28-yard line. Both teams realize that when the ball is snapped, we're one play away from a very different ball game. He's tackled at the 31-yard line. Rice is going to use their first time out of the half here. It's second down, seven to go. Ball on the 31. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Scrambling around. And they'll bring him down right around the 40. A good quarterback knows when and how to improvise. And if he's got the skills, he can also turn a scramble into something big. They'll drop him for a loss. Really good play here and run support by the linebacker. The big guys up front took away the running lanes, and he was able to get through for a loss. Red two. Sacked. But the defense is fired up, responding and reacting to that sack. Not only did they get the quarterback, but they hit him and hit him hard. I think that can really create some confidence for this defense. The next time this quarterback drops back to throw, you got to be thinking he's going to be a little bit gun shy and concerned about the pressure that these defense is putting on it. Connecticut holds a four point lead. Black five, black five, tonight. Green nine. Green nine. Check, check, dancer, dancer. Well, you can see the elation on the defensive coordinator side of things, and why not? His defense just came up with one of the biggest stops of the game in a vital spot in this fourth quarter. just a little bit careful that they lean too much on a star player here in this stage of the game. Yeah, but having a quarterback that understands what this defense wants to try to do to slow this offense down is very, very important. Now he's just got to stay calm, make good decisions, and move his offense down the field. There's a strike complete. Still on his feet. And down he goes at the 40. With the reception. Number 29 makes the tackle at the 40-yard line. First down. And it's caught, and he's brought down quickly. That's a game of six and four. That'll make it second and four. Spikes the ball. That'll bring up third and four. So it's third down now, and they're going to need about four. He wants it all going long. The defender had his hands on it, but it's incomplete. Well, that's a great job here by the defense to knock that football away and set up a fourth down. Under a minute left in the game. Quick throw, excellent open field tackle. That's a game of 10 on the way. That makes it first and 10. And he stops the clock with a spike. 
Makes it second and ten. Second down and ten to go. Ball on the 24-yard line. Four down, four down. Hey, watch 28. Hey, check mark 33. Where's it out to the right to the halfback? And they make the stop around the 21-yard line. it to the end zone. Doesn't get there. Fourth down, and it looks like they're going to go for it again. Worked for him last time. And he hits him hard at the 13. Check, check. Disco Raver. Disco Raver. At the 13-yard line. First down. The spike will stop the clock. That makes it second and ten. We're at the 12th play of the drive. Four down, four down. 87's getting the ball. 87's getting the ball. Crosses to the running back, and he pulls in another one. It's third and seven. Ten yards to the end zone. Hit and taken down. That makes it first and goal. Go! One sixty four. Spikes the ball. That brings him second and goal. And this is the fifteenth play of a very solid drive. Four down, four down. Hey, check mark thirty three. Check mark thirty three. They bring him down. This one's in the books. The Huskies with the victory, 31-27. And the Owls. For EA Sports and Kirk Herbstreit, this is Brad Nessler saying thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you next time.